Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Matt with The Busted Coach, and I am here to show off a little game called Hammer Watch. This game is basically a fantasy hack and slash role playing game uh, that takes a you know pixel sprite based you know two D top down view and lets you just you know hack and slash away. Um, it's fairly basic, but um, the controls are surprisingly tight, and I really had a good first impression of it when I first started it up, so I thought I'd make a video. Um, it is available on Steam, as well as GOG, and on the uh, HammerWatch.com website. Um, on GOG, and the HammerWatch website is currently uh, sitting at $7.99, and on Steam... Um, it is $9.99, so it's a little more expensive on Steam, so if you want DRM-free stuff, um, and not through Steam, uh, you can get it for cheaper for $2 less. Um, you can buy a 4-pack on Steam as well for $29.99, so that might end up being a better deal if you have a bunch of friends that want to chip in as well. Um, <clears throat> but for now, actually, let's get to the game, and, uh, see... Let's see what's up, I'll give you a demonstration. Uh, it has multiplayer, you can check. Uh, it has local, so you can play on the same screen, get a bunch of friends together in the same room. Uh, you can host, browse, or join online games. So that stuff's there. Uh, we'll go in the options. So there's going to be minimal options in this game. Uh, you've got minimap opacity, uh, you can see damage text, pick up texts, and hide mouse in game. Um, Whatever, because I don't use a mouse, I'm using a controller for this game, because it's actually better to use a mouse for this game, or a controller for the game, so, uh, or so it seems. Anyway. Graphics. Uh, so you got all sorts of things on here. Um, right now I'm just playing it minimized in a window, because it makes it easier for recording, um, and the game doesn't really, um, it doesn't really seem to matter. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't really pay off to play it in full screen, really, so it doesn't matter. Um, but it's got a few different options, you know, it's got soft and hard shadows, uh, ambient occlusion, v-sync, all that, you know, stuff. And it actually helps. And then there's surprisingly some advanced stuff here. Um, even some post-processing stuff, so... Um, but unfortunately, I'm not 100% sure what this stuff does. I'm sure... Okay, so that sh makes things a little more... Con contrast a little bit more. Um, curvature. No. No, no, no. Wow. That's an interesting option right there. Um, is it supposed to make it feel like an arcade game? Uh, I, I have no idea. I'm going to leave that off. Uh, and dot in bloom. Um, that doesn't make it look better. And phosphor just gives it I guess a pixely more a more pixelation pi pixelated look rather. I don't know. I kind of like it, but we'll leave it like this. It's good. Um, the tile borders. I'm just gonna leave it. So there we go. Back. Um, sounds. Just three sliders. That's all we got. Controls. Uh, you have controllers, you can rebind them, so that's always a good option, up to four players. So let's get started, let's play single player, medium, um, and let's play as a paladin to start with. Uh, you can make a custom game, that's what this is, it's for local only. But, yeah, let's start. The bridge! Oh my god, it's out! You'll never make it! Okay, so I have to make another way around. Oh, right off the bat, I get a bomb. Um, so this game did, or does suffer from a little bit of slowdown at points. Um, I noticed that playing full screen more so than when I do in a window mode, so that's a thing. Um, that's your gold, so you can pick up gold and all that stuff. Um, the, the controls are so tight, I really like it. And, like... Just wonderful, and you have special moves like the the paladin can go through a whole bunch of guys at once, like that. Um, I can't remember what the other special powers are, but we'll 
We'll take a test spin with each class, and then you can see what's up. So, this game just... I really want to play with friends. Because it seems like the right amount of Diablo hack and slash and exploration um, when it works. Like, you know, when it's not chugging on my computer. It shouldn't, but it does. Uh, on occasion. And apparently that's a problem that people have been reporting online anyway, so it's not like I'm alone. So you can see that I have uh, energy at the bottom, like mana, so. Or mana, however you want to say it. But right now I'm fighting pretty basic enemies. Um, the blue beetles are have a lot more health. See, so yeah, I have to hit them a little bit more, but then that opens that up. Oh, there's a lot of enemies there. Let's go through them and there we go. Oh, I got more. I got some mana from that guy. That's good. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't have any problems with this game whatsoever, and that's why I made a video of it um, because it it's wonderful. I I really appreciate what they did here. Um, this game is made by a couple of guys. Uh, their team is called Crackshell. Uh, they released this game in August, uh, and I've been kind of like watching it, looking at it, and saying, you know what, this looks really good. And I finally bought it uh, during this past Steam sale. It was only like three bucks or something like that. And I bought it for a bunch of people, actually. So me and my friends are eventually going to be playing this. Whoops. Um, and I tried to play it on the podcast the other day, but it didn't seem to work out very well. Um, Mind you, it's probably a network setting, something to do with my friend living in Brazil that I was trying to connect to, but oh well. Have to have to figure something out at some point. I'm trying to remember the name of those two guys. Um, oh, I got it right here. Um, it's Joachim Skogeland and Nicholas Merberg. Um, sorry if I mispronounced your names, guys, but uh, this game is actually... I, I really like it really happy with it, so, bravo. Um, from what I've played so far, anyway. Like, uh, I've really only been in this area, and then I've, I've died a lot, so. Um, if I, like, for, in the further, in the, the further you go, of course, it's gonna get harder, so. But you just gotta, you know, gotta be careful. You don't wanna get surrounded by insects. And eaten or destroyed or whatever. What's this? Oh, that's a waypoint, so game gets saved there. Um, but yeah, those guys uh, did a great job, and the music is uh, lovely too. Um, it is done by Two Feathers, that is the composer of this music right here. And I quickly ran out of energy, so... Uh, oh, bats. Bad bats. Um, so yeah, it's... I don't know. I, I got nothing else to say about the game, really. I mean, you can see for yourself that it looks nice, and I can feel it playing very well, because my hands are having a great time controlling this character. But I haven't um, done much in the, far in the form of leveling up or anything yet, so I'm really curious to see what that's like. If there is a level leveling system, I don't even know if there is or not. Eat those apples, boy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, I think that this game is more about equipment and vendors than if there's a vendor coin. Uh, and you collect gold, which I'm assuming is kind of like the experience in this game. Because it doesn't seem like there's an experience system. Uh, I don't see an experience bar. Like, I can go to statistics. Um, I have done a lot of damage. Um, oh, okay, I've... I can see all the stuff over here, that's cool. I didn't even know that. My score is 800, okay, yes. Breakables destroyed. I have died zero times. So I guess this is um, 
for the playthrough, but what I'm currently doing now, so that's cool. At least it tracks your statistics. What else is there? Oh, I see big giant maggots. That's wonderful. And they're poisonous maggots! Oh my god. Okay. Just die, you god awful creatures. Yeah. So the paladin, um, kicks some bum. I got some apples. Oh, that's a lot of maggots. They're getting ready to poo on me with their poisonous poop. Just die. Everything must die. There we go. Do -do -do. Okay, okay. Yep, that's that's cool. Let's uh, go back here and get some mana. Oh, there's more of you. Okay, you're you're wonderful. Go away. Just turn into flies or something. It's less disgusting that way. Come on, come to the corner. So I can blend you into a nice protein shake. Yes. Apples. Checkpoint. Excellent. This is the furthest I've made, guys. Um, all the other times I was just me messing around in the game, so I didn't really... I don't know, I meant to make a video after I tried playing it for the first time, because I was so impressed by it. So that's why I haven't been playing much. And I thought that we would make a video about it during the podcast, but it ended up, no, not happening. So... Okay. If you hack them slash, uh, hack them slash enough. If you hack them fast enough, you're you're good. Because those ones take a little bit more damage. Vendor coin. Man, this game is it, it's very very simple, very bare bones. What are the shoulder buttons do? They don't really do anything. And the directional pad is literally for using the directions. Oh hey. Nice. Ooh, a strange plank. That's a nice little secret there. So there's secrets in the game, so that's wonderful. I like it when you can stumble upon stuff like that. Um, yeah, this is this is great. <sighs> Alright, so let's go slay some more maggots. Why not? Hey, don't open your gub at me, bub. Ugh, that slows me down, too. That's horrible. Why are you so gross? Oh, bum. Um, can I go in there? What about down here? I could have went that way? Well, for Christ's sakes. Uh, Shabam. Oh, we're in Maggot City here. Let's go this way. Go up here? No, okay. Alright, alright. Oh, 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 key. Okay, so the brownish maggots. Are the ones to really worry about because they are poisonous. They are. They are horrible. Let's go away from those for a second because there are a few of them. Um, let's see if there are any more. Well, I'm gonna save here first. So I just killed a whole bunch of stuff. So. Mm hmm. 
What's this person going to say? Hey, strange planks are scattered around the castle. Make sure not to miss any of them. Okay. Thanks. I thought you were going to give me something more important than that, but thanks. Oh, hey! Hey! Oh, shoot. Okay. I need to find less maggots. would be good. Oh god! Okay, let's get out. Let's get out of here. Um, there has to be health somewhere. Hmm. Because I am almost dead. Um, die? Die? Stop yelling me! There we go. Oh, health, hello. There we go. That's exactly what Uncle Uncle Stu ordered. Don't ask about Uncle Stu. Don't don't ask about Uncle Stu. I don't know anything. About, I don't know. I just made that up. Don't don't judge me. Do do do. Is that a orange over there? Okay. So anyway, uh, this is definitely awesome. I want to continue, and I want to show you more of the other characters. Um, uh, vendor coins give you a price reduction at vendors. Oh, okay. So there are vendors. I must find them. Okay, so... There we go. Yay! I can buy a combo. Uh, killing 10 enemies in quick succession triggers a combo that will increase move speed and damage for a short while. Sure. There are several stores in the game. Some are hidden and some are easy to find. Use these to upgrade your hero. Okay. Well, that's cool. I can... I can... I dig it. Um, now, I want to get over to that orange over there, or whatever it is. Pumpkin? There's a coin. Ooh, a present! Oh, hey! Felt, felt really good to get that. It looked like it was wrapped with care. go that way. Uh, maybe I can go this way, or down, or up, or... There's gotta be a way to get there. There's gotta be some way. Or can I just walk through here? No. No. Mm. Is there a map? Oh, there is a map. Okay, so let's go back this way. Um, maybe... Yeah, okay, maybe I have to go further. See if I can find a boss to end this video on. Oh, okay, well there's a way down here. Exiting a floor also saves your game, and the same waypoints do. Okay, cool. So I guess I have to come go up the stairs um, from those other spots to... what's that guy? He looks horrible. Ah, oh, stay away from me. Ghost mother? Ah, oh, you dirty maggots. Okay, I'm about to die. Do, do, do. Get out of here. Uh, shoot. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna have to stand at the corner and whack these maggots. Gotcha. Alright. It's about the only way you can deal with those guys if there's a lot of them. Or so it would seem anyway. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, come on, maggots. Your bridge. Oh, there's too many. There's too many. I do not like this. No! Okay. Okay. Bring it. Let's get by here. So one more maggot. That looks like a boss. Or something. I don't know what that is. It's gigantic. Ah, oh, finally health. Just to be taken away again by maggots of the undead here. Just die faster, please. Oh, my combo kicked in. I guess that's what the combo is like. You go crazy, you go berserk. I'm still at low health, though. Okie doke. How about we not die? That would be good. Well, I'm getting pretty close to dying here. Okay, there is health over there. That's that's a tease. That's a tease. That's not very nice. But I think there's a way to go here. I think this is probably up to the other areas. Oh, this is back to the start. What the? <sighs> I thought that I had escaped. Oh god. Well, um... What is... Th oh, that's a... Oh god, get out! Okay, I've got one health left. <laughs> uh, this is a miracle. This is gonna be a miracle if I live. Oh my god. Just die! Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. I spawned, but... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna stop it there, because otherwise I'm gonna play for way too long. But, um, this game is, in my opinion, really good, uh, if you like this kind of, this style of game. Um, so I'd definitely pick it up if you're looking for something as a good time waster to, you know, mess around with friends, uh, or, you know, just mess around with in general. So, good hack and slash, uh, top-down, uh, role-playing game. Just all around fun, in my opinion. So, uh, Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button, subscribe, uh, let me know what you think about the video down in, your co in my comments down below, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.